and discovering. So I, I have this little acronym I use called your idea won't sell till everything is right. R I T E. And I just sort of use it as a checkpoint for yourself to say, I know you're, you know, but let's, let's pretend that those R I T E are like four legs of a table. Do I say it? And you've got, what is that? I'm not sure if you hit something on your end in terms of balloons. Uh, that was hilarious. I put yeah, my I, fingers up. I think it's maybe due to the movement. Huh, that's interesting. I want to do that again. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Um, I guess it's a party. Um, so these four, let's see if it'll happen again. These four legs of the table um, are, are, there you look. go. There you it go. Must there be you a go. gesture. We've discovered something. Yeah, no, that's interesting. <laughs> I've never discovered that. Whoa. Okay, I'm gonna put my hands down now. Isn't that great? Don't know how that happened. The below gesture. Some some someone's hacked in. But uh, so those four legs are relationship, idea, timing, and execution. I mean, uh, right, right. Mm -hmm. When is your idea right? And so. The, re the relationship being the most important. It's the first letter, right? You know, if you don't have all those relationships, doesn't matter how good your idea is, you don't know, you're not pitching it to the right company. Mm -hmm. So you research on who, and often people think they know who wants their idea, but they're not, they really haven't done their research on, does the, is that a company that ever, ever even looks at outside ideas? You know, don't force your idea on the summit. I know you got to do this. I know you, you know, people get very, they just haven't really researched whether it's a company that wants to look at ideas or is reputable. Um, my rule is never ever pitch an idea to a company where you're the first, you know, where they haven't already licensed ideas from other people. That Don't be the first, sense. right? Makes perfect sense. Yeah. And so that's my first lesson is relationships. Idea is the second, but is your idea really as unique as you think it is? Have you researched, oh, I've never seen anything like it. I've, you know, how, how far have you looked? You know, you know, as a patent attorney, yep. there's so much stuff that you could do a whole show on a amazing ideas that never made it to market because, you know, right. So, so that's the idea part. And then it's how, how big is, is that idea? The timing is the T, but you only know timing if you have good enough relationships to ask those people, is it a good time to pitch this? Should I wait till next year? Did you already do a product sort of like this? Like there's so much about timing you can control, but why did it take 10 years for me to sell Hyperdash? Maybe I could have analyzed that. I don't know, but you know, it is, it's also a reminder that don't give up. It could just be the timing and you could be too early. Often people are too early, more than too late. Um, and then E is execution. And execution is, you know, it's it's a word to me, R-I-T-E. It means you can have everything right, the right company, the right time, the right idea, but you just didn't execute it quite right. You know, like like it was if it was a bop it, maybe I made it flat instead of three-dimensional and it just didn't take off. And then it was almost there, it had a twist and a pull, but it was something that sat on a table instead of a thing you held in your hand. And then that becomes the difference. And, you know, you'll drive you crazy because maybe later someone comes out with something that succeeds. You go, I had that idea. And then you, you usually go, did you really have the exact idea or you had something very similar? And, and you realize, and so the only reason that's useful to inventors is you have to imagine that you may have R-I-T-E, you may have all those things, but are they as strong as they need to be? You know, can you, what could you do to make the relationship stronger, the idea stronger, the timing better, the execution, try 10 different versions of your product. Don't just stop. This is my idea, right? So if you look statistically at how many ideas you come up with actually eventually sell, it's a combination of all those things and they all are hard work and, and you, you know, it's, it's the fun of it, but it takes a lot of energy and time. So that's my sort of beyond none of those are really about the patent um you could say idea under the eye of idea that definitely says if you have a strong patent that makes that leg of the table stronger just be you know 
as I said, that the product needs to sit on this table of these four strong legs. And the bigger and stronger that table is, the better your idea has a chance. So if you think I've got a three-legged table because I don't have any uh, idea about the timing, then you need to get that fourth leg sturdy. So I find it a great way for people to reflect on maybe you have 10 ideas, which of them is the strongest table so that you spend your time on the one that has the biggest chance of success.